Hey friends, welcome back to She's in Her Apron and welcome to Motivational Monday. You guys, I was really nervous about last week's Motivational Monday, the one where my mentor Kat was on with me and I showed you how horrible my office was. I was so nervous about it, but you guys responded so well and you, a lot of you can relate. So I'm glad it was a good, motivating, positive thing. So today we are still in my office and I'm going to be clearing off my desk. Now if you guys remember, my desk was still cluttered um, at the end of last week. So that's what I'm gonna work on today. I just got off the phone with Kat from our mentoring session and she gave me some tips about my filing cabinet in my desk drawer which I'll show you and how to deal with my desk. So what I'm going to um, do is do the three things that her and I set as goals and then tomorrow she's going to call me and FaceTime me and help me really organize my desk to help set me up for success. So and you'll see that in just a moment. But uh, let me show you my desk and the epiphany that I had. Here's my desk. Oh my gosh, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's bad, I know. Okay, so I was on the phone with her. She's like, okay, let me see your desk. Show me around. And what... It Here's the epiphany. And I was thinking, Kat, I know I get sidetracked. I know that. But why? Why does my desk end up looking like this and I was looking at everything I'm like there's projects I have projects in here project here um, project project and under here there's a project and I figured out why I do that is because if I put my projects away I think mentally I'm afraid that I'm gonna forget about them and I want to do them and so I must keep them out in order for me to remember remember you want to do this remember you want to do this I'm not finished with this, but remember that this is here. So I think that's why I do it, you guys. I think that is why my desks, my desk ends up getting crazy messy. So I was like, okay, cat, now that I have figured that out, what do I do? And she said, Kimmy, put it away and then write in your planner that you want to work on this and put it in your planner. And that way it's in your planner. You can see your to-dos, projects that you want to finish and you can get to and you can cross them off when they're done. And I was like, so <laughs> I know right all right so I got off the phone like I said with Kat and she said Kimmy on your desk I want you to put all your paper into one pile and we'll do the sorting system like I did on the last video and then she said put all the other things that need to get put away to their home in a box and then I decided that my third thing I was going to do was before I could even go through that paper and put it away because I have to go through my filing cabinet and here is my filing cabinet so I need to get rid of things and she told me what to get rid of and what to hold on to she says if I'm holding on taxes from the past years over three years old to get rid of them because you can get them all online and uh, if I need to keep some of my manuals to some of my appliances I can some of them you can get online but uh, receipts, I should have a personal record file, maybe one for my church, one for my mortgage, one for the car, and any other ideas. And I thought, you know what, instead of having my projects on my desk, I can have folders in here for my YouTube ideas and different things like that, my Release Society projects in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through um, all of this and I'm going to get rid and shred. So that's what I'm going to work on today and then tomorrow Kat will help finish and help me um, create some sort of system on my desk that way I could not run into this situation again. So I'm excited for two days in a row of Kat. Ooh, my heart is full. Okay, Whew, you ready? I'm going to grab a box. I'm going to make a paper pile and a put away. I thought I would time myself um, and put on for a 15 minute timer because you know we talk about doing these jobs in 15 minute increments so you're not getting overwhelmed and creating new projects so I'm going to time myself for 15 minutes and see how far I can get in 15 minutes I like this PS I'm in my sweatpants today do you know I give myself one day in my comfy clothes I started this now and it's Tuesdays and let me tell you, I like one day in my comfy clothes 
instead of every day in my comfy in my comfy clothes. So yeah, so enjoy the outfit again today. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, friends that literally took 10 minutes 10 minutes so I decided to take everything out of these filing bins as well um, so that way tomorrow when I'm with Kat I could start fresh on how to organize my desk so in this box are things that need to find a home and that's all my paper so I got to sort through that but before I do that I need to go through that drawer in my filing cabinet and get rid of things and then I could put these things into a home so I'm excited like oh I'm excited I'm just I'm excited to you know put new systems into my life that can help me and um, and I'm thankful for Kat because since I have been learning from her I've been more consistent and um, and it takes time and that's what she's teaching me it takes time to form a habit and for our brain, as she says it, to hurt when we don't do something. So, I'm really thankful. So, eek. Okay, so I am going to go through that filing drawer and I have my shredder. I'm just going to get rid of stuff. Oh, this feels so good. Whew, it is done. It is not perfect, but it is progress and I'm very proud of it. And so, with the help of Kat, I put some systems into place that hopefully... My desk won't look like it did before on a daily basis. So, so first, let me give you a peek of what the desk looks now. Ooh, and here it is, all done, cleared off. It feels so good. Oh, I'm loving it. I'm loving the feel when I come in. It makes me want just be productive, and I don't know. It just feels so good. Okay, so let me explain to you some of the tips that Kat had for me on keeping this clean and work for me. Have it work for me. One thing she says is when you walk in, you want it to feel good. And, like, what would you like on there? Do you want a lamp, a tissue box, a candle? So this is what I've done. I wanted to feel inspired when I came in. So I have my pin board that I've always had here, but Derek's going to hang it up on the wall with a shelf. But we're not worried about that right now. That will get done. But for the meantime, it's there. And I have a lamp. And then I have this quote that I found that I have a smaller version of it by my homework station for the kids. And it says, may you be proud of the work you do, the person you are, and the difference you make. Because we all can get down about ourselves and what we can accomplish. And so I wanted that there as a reminder. And then I have my scriptures, my journal, and my scripture study book to always, always out, always inspiring me to read and to study and to journal my thoughts. So that is there. Um, and then I did go through my drawers and cleaned them up. This is like my pen utility drawer. This drawer here holds my candy <laughs> while I'm snacking and editing. And then um, this has a lot of my cameras. All my cameras go in here and all my camera chargers and things. And then in here are letters 
that uh, I get from you guys and notepads and, uh, and things like that to write letters um, back and stuff. So that is there. And then I did go through my file drawer and shredded a ton, you guys. I went crazy. I filled up three bags of shredding. So um, here is what I need to file and make its own filing system. And then I have some things I filed away already in here. My projects that were on the desk, if you remember. So on Wednesdays is my desk day. So I'm going to take 15 minutes and I will file those things away. So happy. And then when, you know, it looks all pretty and I have like a filing system, I'll show it to you. But it's progress and I'm so happy about it. Okay, here on the top of my desk I have my mouse. I keep my keyboard here with my, um, with my planner. If I am out and about, my planner is in my purse or on my desk. So that is here, like this. And sometimes I'll take my keyboard out and put it on top to work, but... And then Kat says that when I get the mail, the first things I need to do are file, shred, or throw away, and call to action. So what I decided to do with the three bins here, they're still for the same categories I had them for, which was home and family, YouTube, and um, my church calling, which is really society. So these are all the things that need to get done this week. My um, my office day that I really try to work in my office and get projects done are Wednesdays. So every Wednesday, these things need to be done. That way from Wednesday night to the next Wednesday, I have this stuff for the next week coming in here. So I already know what I need to do up here. All these calls to action. So by Wednesday night, these boxes should be empty for whatever else falls into place during the week. So... And I'll get them done. That way things don't get piled in. And that will be on Wednesdays for desk day. Um, and so the, here I just have my printer. My box of letters from you guys. It takes a while to write back. And that's what I'm working on. I have journals back there. And this is stuff for Norwex. And then down here is Norwex. So I'm not worried about that right now. So, And I got this cute picture about being a mother at Neaters. I love it. And then on the side here is my whiteboard that I use for YouTube. This is what I schedule out each week when I'm filming and working on for you guys. Here's four weeks right here. So this is my how I keep track of what I'm filming and making for you guys. So here is my desk. And it is not perfect, but it is progress. And I am so happy about it. Thank you, Kat, for helping me. I really appreciate you so much. I hope this helped you guys and inspired you in some way. Uh, leave down below any tips that you have that are helping you in your office at your desk to help keep it clean and organized. Okay, friends, thank you so much for joining me on this Motivational Monday. I appreciate you so much. And again, subscribe if you're new so you never miss the fun. And hit the thumbs up button if you like this video. So, all right, guys, have a great week, a great Monday. Kick its butt. You got this. And we will see you soon. Okay, bye.